Jay here. Um, today I'm going to review on a material called BuildTac, which is a replacement for Kapton and paper tape on your 3D printers. But first, a note to my subscribers. If you notice, the layout's a little bit different. Um, I've separated the reloading area from the woodworking area, from the machine shop area, and the 3D printing area. It was sort of getting, everything was built on top of each other, so now it's for everything to, you know, the different corners of the room, with my wife's blessing. Um, and also, the eye problems I've been suffering for the last year, if you want to, if you care, you can look back. If you don't, just keep watching the video. Uh, that started to alleviate. I've got about 95%, except with some slight rays in my right eye, and the, and the left eye is at about 30%, as the blood slowly uh, drains out of it. But anyway, ooh, ick, right? But anyway, so today I'm talking about a material called BuildTac. Now, this is sold by a company called Ideal Jacobs. I think they're in California. Let me look real quick. Oh, I lied. They're in New Jersey. Yep. Maplewood, New Jersey. Now, what this is, again, is a replacement for your Kapton or your paper tape because it can be used cold or it can be used hot. Now, I ordered from BuildTac. It's, it's sold at Amazon in multi-packs, and it's sold, you can buy them one at a time singly from BuildTac.com. So I went and got one of each of uh, the sizes that I want to try. And one of the sizes I got was for my craft bot. See, I've already put that on the aluminum build tray. I took the Kapton off. Actually, it was already off because I ripped it. And I've been using glass. That's what this one's printing on right now is glass. Uh, so now I bought this to try out on the craft bot. On my uh, uh, DaVinci, that over there, I've replaced it with some heavy Kapton, and I'm having a lot of problems because the DaVinci has a captured glass on top. And then because it did that, the Kapton sheet wants to pull from the corners and you get wrinkles. I haven't suffered that problem on the other ones because, as you can see, the edges aren't captured. Like the MakerBots that I have in this right here, it's not captured. So I'm going to go ahead and yank that Kapton off, about 30 bucks on the Kapton. And I got a uh, BuildTac Build -tech sheet to replace it. So, but right now, and it does come with double-sided adhesive on the box. So you just peel that off. Um, and here's a little tip for you. Now, I have several scrapers and spatulas and stuff like that. A lot of people still use the uh, um, Cricut, the tiny spatula. It's about that big. They're like three bucks with a big long handle. I stopped using those a while ago. Uh, now, this is the one they send with the, the craft bots, and it's plastic, and same people use these. They're crap. Okay? I, I ripped the, the, the sharp edge off first time I tried jamming it under something. Uh, this one came with my Create Bot, and it's basically a very sharp uh, paint scraper. And this is what ate my cap on it. What I found, and I got this one at uh, Home Depot, is just a regular paint scraper. And, and yeah, it does have a fairly fat and sharp end, but nowhere near as sharp as a razor blade on this thing. So this gives you enough grunt to get under stuff but it's not sharp enough to, to gouge the, the cap on off. If you do it right, this will actually push the corner up and get up under it. But to each their own. So anyway, that's the intro part of this where I show you, uh, let's see. I think uh, they don't put the, the price on here. I bought these singlies. I bought an eight by eight by eight. I mean an eight by eight, which is this. And then I bought an eight by 10, which is this. Um, now it's not, it what when it, came in, it actually doesn't cover to the, to the very top, but that's okay because you're not going to print to the very top anyway. And if you'll notice, I left a tiny border on this side. That's because it was, um, it was actually had a border, a hair of a border on both sides. Left a little lip on this side. And I know from experience that this thing, when it comes in, it cuts across this corner, drops a spooey of, of filament, and drags it across to, to stretch the filament as it comes down. A foot. It's called a foot. But, uh, so I wanted that I moved it over a little bit and trimmed it with a razor knife because I wanted that to extend on that edge where it catches the nozzle. So we're going to test that one out. And that, I'll do some video that will be attached to this with this right here before I do my uh, end of the video review of it, I guess you'd say. Now again, this is, re this is a, a sticker. It's meant to be replaced. A lot of people have reported that they get ultimate, ultimate, many, many uses out of it. Sort of like I used to push the heavy cap on, as long as you don't have a captured glass bed. Uh, because you, it would last for months and months and months and months. Supposedly people are having that with this. As a matter of fact, 
Some of the feedback says that when you use this on a heated bed, it actually sticks too well. That they've actually ripped it up trying to get the part off. Don't know, we'll see. It's got a hair cell finish. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, here, let me see if I, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll cut here. And put some pictures in. But, uh, did you like those pictures? Anyway, it's got a hair cell finish, sort of like ABS. If you ever buy commercial ABS sheets, it's smooth one side and hair cell the other. It's kind of like that. So that's the texture. It's got a feel a lot like, you know, 20 thousandths or 10 thousandths thick ABS is what it actually feels like. And ABS will take, uh, you know, an industrial graze. It will take 200C, 240C. Supposedly they're using these things for printing the nylon and everything. I don't know. PETs. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it and see. So anyway, that's my opening. It comes in these little nice envelopes. You know. Amazon's got the multi-packs. They're $30 to $40 depending on the size. I think these were $9 for the big one, $8 for the small one, something like that. $23 ship total. Uh, you stick it on. It's got the, the instructions and the hints and tips and everything. So anyway, I'll stop the first part of the video here and we'll go to printing line. And here we have our first build on our BuildTac um, replaceable textured build plate. Now, this is in green ABS. Um, it was about an eight and a half hour build. I let it run all night. Uh, it's now completely cool. Um, stuck very well. There's no corner lifting at all. In fact, it's done really good. Uh, let's see if we can just pop this off. Here it comes. All right, let's look at the build plate. Let's see, I don't see any deep scratches. Um, I do feel a little bit of a pressure ridge where it's pulled up. You know, it's just sucked up a little bit slightly. Now I'm wondering if like Capton, if once you heat it, if it goes back down. So. So far, except for this, you know, the ding I got, um, and you can see it dinged all three places when it was doing the uh, the um, build leveling, and that's because you got to get that nozzle, which is hot, and you got to get it there and you know play with it, and get that uh, thing set. Let's see. It does leave a nice, fairly matte texture on the bottom of the part. Uh, let's see. All right, so there's the first build off of the BuildTac build plate, replaceable build plate. So, what's the final verdict? Well, like I said, this is like nine bucks. The glass is like a buck and a half. Uh, does it stick? Yeah, it stuck well. Um, does it stick better than, than I've had experience with it, like Capton or, <coughs> pardon me, like window tint? A lot of people use window tint on glass or Capton on glass or the same thing but on aluminum. See, this is an aluminum build tray. Spun one of that off. Anyway, so this is on aluminum build tray that it's stuck to. Um, short term, it, it did well. Uh, I don't know how it's going to do long term. Um, not only that, but you know it is fairly expensive. Capton is almost that bad, but 
you can get it, you know, in the real thin stuff like one mil, two mil, you know, for a, a pennies probably. I don't know. You'd have to divide up what, how big your build tray is and what it costs you. Um, so anyway, build tack right now as it sits, I give it a eight out of ten. Um, it does work. It's got a nice texture. Unlike the Kapton and glass, it leaves a matte textured finish. Uh, it's easy to stick down. It goes on a lot easier than Kapton. Kapton's a little pain in the butt to put on because it's so thin. Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm going to ding it because it did ding a little bit when I was doing the bed leveling. And you know, if I go, oh, it's a new mistake. Well, I mean, this is for noobs, you know, or for pro professionals or amateurs or whatever. But so you know, you got to look at it that way. Also, I can feel, I can see and feel a little pressure ridge where that part printed at. So that makes me wonder, you know, is it going to set back down once it gets warm or is it going to be there forever? And, you know, if I do another part, it's going to have that on the bottom of it. So this is Jay. Keep on printing and have a great day.